Okey, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Jadi, video ni adalah untuk uh, jawapan kepada soalan yang you guys, yang dah diberi kepada you guys uh, as a homework. Okey, kenapa buat video ni tak buat session because my internet here is not really strong. So, takut nanti lag. So, it's easier so that you can boleh uh, refer many times if you want to see. Alright, so the first question, dia suruh identify, identify P. Alright, mind you that this is uh, not really a good question because the marks is not, um, the marks is uh, tak compatible lah dengan soalan dia. So, name the part of P state, selalunya dua markah. Alright. So P here supposedly it's cover all this region. So sebenarnya P adalah trachea. Alright. Tapi because the level P dekat atas ni. So if you jawab larynx. Alright. Pun diterima juga. Alright. Tapi function dia kena betul. Function trachea. So, state its function. Function trachea adalah untuk moist and warm the air that enter into the lung. Alright. Kenapa air ni kena warm dengan moist supaya it's easy untuk diffusion nanti. Alright. Bila dah dekat alveolus. Kalau you jawab larynx, it's very easy. It's just direct the air into trachea. Ataupun if you google the function, also boleh cakap untuk prevent passage of food. Alright, of food into trachea. But I think the jawapan yang kedua ni mostly kepada epiglottis. Alright, untuk prevent. But acceptable. Okay, kalau ada soalan macam ni yang uh, kalau soalan exam yang dia memang bagi satu markah sahaja. Jadi bila you namakan P betul dengan character, dengan function baru dapat satu markah. Ya, yeah, I know uh, biologi dia memang macam ni. Okay, belajar senang. Jawab susah. But it's okay. Kita belajar sikit-sikit. Name the tissue Q found in the trachea and state its function. Alright. So, tissue Q ni sama macam kalau you belajar uh, hari tu kan ada ajar respiratory types untuk grasshopper. Uh, ni grasshopper I. Uh, ni grasshopper. Okay, ni my grasshopper. So, dia ada tracheal system, right? So, tracheal system macam ni lah, macam trachea. Cuma trachea kat sini, kita ada bronchus, bronchioles. Kalau dekat insect, tracheal system dia, dia panjang macam ni. Dia ada trachea and tracheoles. Okay. So, lepas tu, kal, uh, waktu kelas hari tu, I cakap this trachea, dia ada lining kat sini. Right, this lining kita panggil chitin. Untuk prevent trachea, prevent trachea from collapsing. Kenapa dia akan collapse? Sebab kan thoracic cavity ni akan change volume bila bernafas, bila inhale dengan exhale. Jadi macam straw you lah kalau you bernaf, uh, kalau you sedut kuat-kuat kan dia akan jadi macam Collapse lah. Dia akan uh, jadi mengecil kan straw. Ha, dia akan mengecil macam ni. So you tak nak that happen. So that's why macam tissue Q kat sini. That's why you ada cartilage. Okay. Jawapan sebenar dia adalah tracheal cartilage. Tapi kalau you jawab cartilage pun betul. Alright. Tapi jawapan lebih tepat adalah tracheal cartilage. Okay. Function dia sama sahaja untuk strengthen uh, ataupun uh, prevent trachea 
from collapsing from collapsing okay kalau you tengok the shape of cartilage ni dia adalah c shape bentuk dia c alright apa maksud bentuk dia c macam ni okey ha ini adalah cartilage between yang sandwich between the bones yang buat trachea so apa maksud c so kalau you potong trachea ni right dari pandangan atas cartilage bentuk dia c macam ni so kawasan dekat sini area dekat sini tak ada cartilage so dia diganti dengan fibrous tissue right tissue yang boleh expand right dia bukan cartilage alright it's a soft tissue why sebab alright this trachea apa eh c shape this trachea dia bersebelahan dengan you punya esophagus right ni trachea ini esophagus esophagus adalah tempat you makan alright bila bila you makan dia akan undergo peristalsis maksudnya dia mengecut mengembang mengecut mengembang untuk tolak makanan pergi dekat perut so bila dekat area tepi esophagus ni okey tepi esophagus tu ni kalau ni belah sini esophagus right belah kat situ tak ada cartilage maksudnya dia boleh mengelau alright dia allow swallowing allow swallowing of food okay in case ada soalan tanya why does the cartilage has c shape alright to allow swallowing right name the part label r r dekat sini adalah diaphragm okay diaphragm apa function r Alright, untuk control thoracic cavity, control sorry, control the volume of thoracic cavity. Thoracic cavity adalah cavity yang ada dekat manusia, lung. Alright, okay. Dalam masa yang sama, just uh, uh, recall sikit apa yang you dah belajar. Alright. <laughs> Kalau insect, it's tracheal cavity. Okay, cara nak increasekan tracheal cavity, guna abdominal, mu ab abdominal muscle and spiracle will open. Alright. Kalau fish, It's buccal cavity. Ha, macam mana nak increase? Guna buccal floor. Alright, buccal cavity. Kalau frog, it's buccal pharyngeal. Pharyngeal cavity. Ha, alright, siapa-siapa yang macam lupa, make sure you recall balik. Okay. Name the process by which the exchange of gases occurs in the alveoli. So easy, simple, diffusion. Alright. Kalau you recall balik bila kita dah belajar chapter movement of substance across plasma membrane, bila guna je term diffusion ni, maksudnya ada perbezaan different in concentration gradient. Tapi alright, untuk gaseous exchange, kalau dia suruh explain pasal the process, kita tak guna concentration gradient. Kita guna term partial pressure. Next, state two ways in which smoking can decrease the efficiency of the human respiratory system. So you see, there are not two ways. First, you kena juga cerita macam mana this can decrease the efficiency. Right? You tak boleh cakap become less efficient sebab kalau become less efficient itu adalah repeat question. We don't want that. Alright? So jawapan you kena cakap apa yang ada dekat cigarette smoke. Alright? Cigarette smoke. Alright? Let's say you cakap it contains tar. 
Okay. Ta deposited on A. On, ha. On alveoli. Okay. Dapat marka ta? Tak dapat lagi. Alright. Sebab so what? Bila tar deposited in alveoli, so what? Alright. Macam mana nak decrease the efficiency? Tak boleh lagi. So, you kena jawab, jawab part 2 ni. Okay. So, prevent gaseous exchange. Okay. This one baru you cakap satu way dengan effect. Baru satu markah. Okay. Another. Alright. Cigarette smoke contains carbon monoxide. Macam mana carbon monoxide decrease efficiency? So, it prevent oxygen from binding. Binding to hemoglobin. Okay, apa lagi? Mungkin you nak cakap it contains corrosive substance. Alright? Smoke, cigarette smoke is corrosive. Alright, nak cakap macam tu, corrosive. Lepas tu, ini waste dia. Macam mana dia boleh decrease the efficiency? You cakap it corrodes, alright, corrodes thin wall of alveoli. Tak dapat markah lagi? So why kalau dia corrodes thin wall of alveoli? You tak jawab lagi macam mana it decrease the efficiency. So you kena cakap reduce total surface area. So this way tambah macam mana decrease efficiency will grant you one mark. So soalan macam ni make sure nampak macam dia very kedekut dengan markah right but trust me that's how uh, that's how it goes. So you really need to understand the technique okay. Despite macam bukan setakat you kena tahu ni je contents je you kena tahu technique also. Ni very easy name organ A and organ B long lah. So organ B gill. Alright. Draw and label. Okay. Respiratory surface. So where? Respiratory surface is where does the gaseous exchange, exchange occur? Okay. For organ A. So draw. Sini empat markah. Satu markah untuk correct drawing. Satu markah untuk label. Make sure it's functional label. Eh? Functional. Functional label. Right, so sorry. Okay, functional label. Okay, sayang. Okay. Uh, functional label. So sekarang ni ada dua. That's why kita dapat four marks. So first kali adalah drawing. <laughs> first kali. Kan tak apa-apa. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'll call him back. It's okay. Call? Yeah. Okay. So, respiratory surface. So, first kali adalah you draw alveolus. Okay? So, alveolus. Sekejap eh. Uh, let me figure this out. Alright. Okay. So, Okay, this one is alveolus. Alright, so mungkinlah lukis sikit. So, this one adalah blood capillary. Right, so mungkin kat sini adalah hemoglobin. So, you ada correct drawing of alveolus with label. Dapat markah dah. Alright, so dekat sini respiratory surface. So you kena draw filament. Alright, ini adalah filament. Right, so sini you draw je. Lamela. Uh, so this is where gaseous exchange because like macam, mm, yeah. I think this uh, this figure is suffice code because we are not an artist kan nak draw like the blood vessel that occur here. So, you draw filament, you label lamella is uh, suffice enough for you to score one mark here. Alright. Explain four characteristics. Okay. Remember, when it's four characteristics, 
characteristic. Soalan yang tanya you pasal characteristic, you kena cakap sekali pasal function. Alright, ini adalah sebenarnya kadang-kadang dia guna adaptation. Soalan that need structural adaptation ataupun characteristic, you need to combine with function. Alright, this one yang moss, thin, light surface area comes. So it's formal. So you need to masuk uh, blood capillary. So moist, thin, large surface area and blood capillary. All right. Vast network of blood capillary. Okay. So function dia you tak boleh repeat dah efficient. Kalau dah ada kat sini, kalau you repeat je, we just label with Q. Maksudnya dah ada dalam question. So the minute you repeat, we won't accept the answer. Alright, kalau moist supaya gases, easy for gases to dissolve. This one you boleh baca lah ayat dia dekat buku teks. The correct answer. Thin, so easy for gases exchange to occur. Gaseous exchange to occur. Alright. So light surface area increase the rate of gaseous exchange. Why high in blood capillary? So you increase the transport of oxygen and carbon dioxide. So this character cup Pearl with function, correct function dapat satu markah. Alright, so kalau moist, remember it's dissolved. Kalau thin or light surface area, increase rate ataupun make it easier for gaseous exchange to occur. Kalau blood capillary, increase transport of oxygen and carbon dioxide. Alright, next, explain how microorganism carry out respiration without specialized respiratory structure. Alright, explain. So first kali you check up by simple diffusion. Okay, so kenapa? Alright, explain kenapa? Because it has, alright, low total surface area over volume. Eh, because it says high lah. Sorry, sorry. Kita yang low. Alright. It has high total surface area over volume. Diffusion ataupun no, diffusion. Exchange of gas happen on the surface. Alright. On the surface of the microorganism. Alright. One mark microorganism. So one mark you dapat simple diffusion. Second mark adalah sebab kenapa ataupun any of this you get the second mark. Alright. So that's I rasa yeah that's all. So siapa-siapa yang dah tengok ni. Okay I akan bagi uh, jaw, uh, you need to fill in. Okay. Fill in jawapan dekat uh, ni, dekat soalan quiz dekat tu. So, I nak you aja tracheostomy. Alright, tracheostomy. Tracheostomy adalah opening. Dia potong dekat sini. Bila you tak boleh bernafas, tak boleh hidung, you tak boleh function. Alright, kita akan tebuk lubang kat sini. So, secret code, secret code. Ha, you cari sendiri macam mana aja tracheus tommy. Alright, that's. And kalau lah you jangan share this secret code dekat group yang kawan-kawan you. Okay, I nak you be ni lah. So, I dah cakap I haramkan you share. Sebab I nak semua kawan-kawan you tengok sendiri macam mana cara nak jawab. Kalau you share, so kawan you just submit dan by share ni uh, it's kesian lah kat dia. Tak adalah you yang dapat ni ha. Alright, so you je yang dapat ilmu tu. So I pastikan diorang watch this video. So that's all. Thank you so much. I hope semua orang boleh jawab dengan betul. Okay, see you 
when I see you. Okay. Assalamualaikum.